What's up you two people? It is Maxine here and welcome to day 21 of Vlogmas. It is like 6.50 in the morning and I'm getting ready for work. Alright, so I just got back from work and I'm so tired. It is so, so busy just everywhere. And see like where I work, I'm in like a little area where there's, I'm in like a little shopping center area which is the only like actual shopping center area in the town that I live in and oh my gosh it's just a disaster like trying to drive anywhere people are just like cutting other people off and it just like upsets me because they're just going for it and I'm like do you not value your own life or anybody else's because you're putting everybody in danger just so you can cross the street like wait till it's empty and and you can go and then people pulling out of the parking lot aren't paying attention and, you know, I just want to make a public service announcement and say, please be nice to everybody, not only other customers, but uh, your cashiers, anybody who is helping you. Um, I understand that some people are going to be in a bad mood, but let me tell you, the cashier that has been standing up there throughout the whole long line of people, don't blame that cashier for there not being any more cashiers, okay? That person is working their butt off to get everybody checked out as fast as they can, and, you know, a lot of people just want to project all these, like, mean things upon them. And I've seen it. Like, you know, I went shopping the other day and I just saw that this lady was being rude to somebody who was trying to help her. I just keep seeing a bunch of people that are mean and everything is about themselves and they want everything for themselves and it's me, 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 and I deserve, I'm entitled. And let me tell you right now entitlement looks ugly on you okay so you need to put away your entitlement and realize that everybody is out christmas shopping you're not the only one and that poor cashier that is up on that register has probably been up there for hours probably hasn't got a break and if they did it was probably just a quick break and it's they're back to the fast pace and people treating them like crap people not being respectful so just you know be friendly to your cashiers and to into other employees and obviously you know you're gonna come across probably a couple people that are just not in a good mood but for the most part those people working in any store that you go into even fast food most of them are just trying to you know get you through the line and be as nice as they can so please you know do that in return and if somebody forgets something of yours that you wanted um, or anything like that, just know that they have seen like a million people in the day and that they aren't doing it on purpose to tick you off. So please, for my sake and my sanity, just please be nice to all the people you come across. It really bothers me when I see that people are treating others like crap and yet they're Christmas shopping. Like, Christmas is all about happiness and cheer and kindness and like spreading joy and people are being rude as they're Christmas shopping. I can tell you this, that anybody who is working in customer service is stressed to the max, trying to do all that they can with their day. Um, and if you've never worked uh, customer service at all, um, let me tell you, it's hard to keep up with everything on a non-busy day and to have to keep up with the busyness and still try to get stuff done, everything that you're supposed to. Like, um, I don't know, you might be unloading a truck and like putting stuff out. You might have to clean up your area. You might have to put all your hangers on a rack and everything just to get those little simple tasks done that are already hard to do when it's not very busy become 10 times harder when you have a lot of people going through. And so a lot of customer service people are very stressed out. And like I said, that's no excuse for a bad attitude. But most of the time you'll notice that customer service people aren't having a bad attitude. So just don't inflict one on other people, okay? If you're having a bad day, it's okay. Everybody's entitled to a bad day, but please, for the love of my sanity, just keep it to yourself. And don't like force your bad day upon everybody else and make everybody and make everybody else be in a bad mood just because you're in a bad mood. That's all for this uh, announcement. <laughs> Until next time. Oh, I also wanted to say that I got a couple more um, gifts 
from the management team and I thought I would show them to you all. I got this cute little mug from one of my coworkers, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles candy cane. And they know that I love Super Mario and so uh, two of my managers were looking all over for anything Super Mario and they ended up finding this t-shirt which is super cute. They found it in the little boy section and they're like, I don't know if it's gonna fit, but it's the biggest size they have. So I think it'll work, but I'm excited because I've never had a Super Mario shirt. With all the Super Mario stuff I have, you would think that I would have, but nope. And then uh, she also got me just this little villains puzzle, which is really funny because I got her a Monster High puzzle because she loves Monster High. And she was like super excited about it because um, She's gonna like put it together and then mod podge it and then like put it on her wall. That's what I have to share with you today. Okay, so I was just watching uh, my friend Emlyn's cover of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And as I'm listening to it, I realized that Santa Baby fits perfectly with it. So this next clip you're about to see is me like singing over her singing. Um, have yourself a merry little Christmas with Santa Baby, just so you can hear how it fits, because I thought it was really cool. Santa Baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. Been an awful good girl, Santa Baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa baby, a far from new convertible to light blue. I'll wait up for you, dear Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I missed. Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. Next year I could be just as good If you check off my Christmas list Santa baby, I want a yacht and really that's not a lie I've been an angel all year, Santa baby So hurry down the chimney tonight Alright, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog and get that up and I need to edit that main channel video. I have to get that done tonight. I'm just, when I get off of work, I have a lack of motivation, okay? I don't know what to do about it. I'm trying, but like, I get home and I just wanna deflate because I've been like going and going and going and <laughs> like by the time I get home, just no motivation. I'm trying to push myself to have motivation and to get stuff done, so yeah. I'm exporting yesterday's vlog. My main channel video is now exporting. Look at me getting stuff done. I hope y'all are proud of me because the struggle is real when it comes to me like actually doing stuff. Alright, so my main channel video is now up and it is going on 1230. Oh my god. Oh, and I still need a shower. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Go shower and then go to bed. So that's all for this video, so stay fresh and bye!